Today's video is about the 18 volt brushless Whisper Siri 130 miles per hour 450 CFM cordless battery leaf blower. This particular one is the interesting one. Um, I wanted to show you what's in the box because um, sometimes description is not enough. So it's very important to see what comes in this box. Uh, as you see, it's not much. Um, they broke it down into two, three pieces. But what I didn't know that uh, it comes with a tip. Uh, the nozzle has a tip, uh, which helps with the leaf blowing. And as you see, it has instructions and everything else. So while we're setting it up, while you're looking at the video, I want to share some highlights that the manufacturer would want us to know. Um, the battery doesn't come with this model. And what I found it disappointing was the, uh, the 18 volt. Uh, it's good. I bought it because of, uh, you know, most of the Ryobi uh, drill or compact uh, driver are 18 volts so I figured why not use the same battery for the leaf blower so I bought it used it and I, I find that it only lasts for um, not for too long unfortunately uh, so what I what I want to do is I want to run it for half the battery power and demonstrate what you could do and I find about you get eight minutes of playtime with this you know, to my surprise. And with the full battery, you get 16 minutes of playtime. The manufacturer is saying that, uh, you know, it's up to 16 minutes of runtime in turbo mode. Uh, this particular thing has turbo mode and regular mode, and you have different, uh, a selector switch to select different speed of the blowing power, which is good, unique. I like it. It's not too loud. That's good too. You know, right here, this is what I was talking about. You see, you could adjust the output of the blower inside. Then you press this button, it goes into turbo mode. So throughout this video, I go through different selection and I press turbo mode many times just to give you a better understanding of what happens. It's good. The functionality is good. Everything is good. I like about it. But one thing is very disappointing is the playtime. <laughs> it doesn't give you more than 16 minutes on a full charge in a turbo mode. Um, and that's disappointing because when you have a when you have a big yard to clean or front lawn to clean, you need more than 16 minutes. You need at least an hour to clean, you know. So this particular one, I think, is designed for your decking or balcony or for something short, for, for something that's going to take you 10 minutes. Then you could go back and charge the battery to move forward so this is what i found it disappointing you know other than that the functionality i like it if you have something to clean for 16 minutes or 10 minutes this would be a good uh, blower for you to buy uh, but if you are like me you have big yard to clean i wouldn't recommend this they have others uh in uh, ryobi makes different type of leaf blower by the way they have other leaf blower that is designed to last 30 minutes 40 minutes or an hour those i would recommend for bigger lawn or yard but this particular one is just a short one short speed it doesn't give you too much play time so this is what i'm doing in a half charge which is not much in the video it might seem longer it might seem it's taking longer than six seven minutes but um it's not it, it actually took me about six or seven minutes for the battery to die and in, in a half charge so what i want to do is uh, you know after the battery died i charged the battery to full power to see, you know, how long would, can I go with it. So that I'm going to show you at the end of this video, because right now I'm still using it in the half, char uh, half charge. And if you could pay attention to the sound, the blower sound got weaker as the battery power started um, depleting. So that's another issue. Not to say that uh, you can't get your job done. You can, but you know, when the battery gets weaker, so does the blower and that becomes a problem. If you're in the middle of a job, that's gonna take your time away. Look, the battery's dead right there, it's dead. Can't go no more. So after a full charge, I wanted to give you a better demonstration of what it sounds like and how much of the runtime you have. So I went between uh, regular usage, you know, I had the selector switch and different selection. Um, overall, if the leaf is wet, you gotta use the turbo. Wet or not, I think you still have to use the turbo because you want the leaf to be blown away from you to the destination you want to pile up. 
And uh, if you're not using the turbo, I find that um, this blower is not strong enough to push the leaf a, a, about, um, I would say, five feet away from you, four to five feet away from you. Because the whole game of leaf blowing is you want to push the leaf away to the pile that you're trying to get together so that you can pick up the leaf and move them. So in this case, I have leaf and acorn mix. And you see the acorns not even moving anywhere uh, unless I use turbo. Thank you for watching.